Hello, Eternal Newbie here with another first look at an old game. So I guess that wouldn't really be a first look, would it? Because, I mean, I did play this game decades ago. I haven't really looked at it much since then, just a little bit. When I downloaded it, played a little bit around to see how it was. So, let's take a look at it. Wing Commander 2, one of my favorites, came out in 1991. Speech enabled. I don't know if you saw that, but it has speech in this game. So let's look at the conductor. Tap your stick on nothing and make sound. There we go. Maybe he does it so fast it's like a whip. Speed looks a little fast. I don't remember how to slow it down, so just gonna have to go with it. I don't remember. I'm either gonna slow it down or speed it up. Yeah, we'll try it later. So, Wing Commander 2: Vengeance of the Kelrathi, or the Kelrathi Strike Back, as I used to call it is a really good game. I think they made major improvements in the gameplay between this and number one. So here's our credits. Chris Roberts. Stephen Beeman. Don't know who that is, but like the game, Mr. Beeman. And hey, look, it's a good old tire claw. That's your carrier from Guild Wars 1. And you're going to the Kilrathi, I think that's Kilrathi home of what in the world? Invisible ships that just appear, fire torpedoes, and... Whoa! Well, that's not good. Hope I wasn't on that ship. Otherwise, this is going to be the shortest game I ever played. Alright. There's a cat person, otherwise known as Kilrathi. They are the enemies. And if I remember the story from the guild, or guild, from Wing Commander 1, well enough, they were basically kicking the humans' butts. I also was such a big nerd back in the day, there were a couple of novels that came out about this. I read them. Liked them. Kind of wish I still had them. But, basically, I digress. The cats were kicking the humans' butts. That one carry, the Tiger Claw, was the one that was like finally doing something good against the Kilrathi. Which makes it insane that the Emperor doesn't care about him using his toys to blow it up. I mean, those toys just got rid of the biggest thorn, thorn in your paw there, buddy. It's time to feed my ego. Say what now? Oh, that's beautiful. Alright. No, it's not. This is going to be a horrible game. Wing Commander 2. Paperwork. Alright. Can we fast forward through the rest of this? No. Here we go. I'm sure Jeffrey Talwin, the commander of 14th Fleet, will be good with this. I didn't do anything, man. Yeah, screw you, I'm your best pilot. What are you going to do? Whoa. J. Jonah Jameson is kind of annoyed, isn't he? I'm not resigning. What an idiot. How dumb is this admiral? You're the pilot that the emperor of the other side himself is talking about. He says how much trouble you've been causing their side, and he wants you to quit. This guy wants you to quit. And when you don't quit, he's sending you off to their, like, the backwater place where do patrols with, like, the, their version of the National Guard Air Force. The people that never get to go out in a fight. Man, this is a big, this is a long beginning, isn't it? All right, I'm just going to paraphrase it, except I did want to point out their teeth. In their eyes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at them. Their teeth are gold. Their eyes are yellow or gold, depending on the angle. If you are an optometrist or a dentist, you could probably make lots of money. Wow, that guy's got red eyes. Lots of money opening up uh, an office on the Kilrathi home planet. All right. Let's move on. Ten years later. Whoa. I think I might have messed up. Alright, so this is where you've been stuck. They sent you to that place 
and you spent the last 10 years that are not fighting the war, even though you are the best pilot in the entire Space Force. Hmm, Space Force. So let's create a new file. Colonel, newbie, and newbie. It's one of those reverse nicknames. So if I want to save my game, you can do this. It doesn't have that cool little feature from the first game where when you save it, it shows that it's full by having someone sleep in the bed. Airlock. Don't want to go out the airlock, that'll take me to DOS. <laughs> Although I probably want to go to DOS since this is 2018. View the storyline, that'll just show me what I just saw. Can't do anything on this bed. Or let's fly a mission. Fast forward in this part. It's a routine, you talk to this lady. Oh, she doesn't talk? And basically you guys talk about how there's nothing going on around here. You say, I'm definitely taking this opportunity because I have been stuck behind a desk for a while. I want to go fly. And a ferret. They must be the smallest of the fighters. Yeah, rapiers are pretty good if I remember correctly. Oh gosh, he just said asteroids. I hate asteroids. <laughs> All right, those are little tiny fighters. Kind of cool looking. Let's see what we got. All right, let's remind myself of a few things. Let's set our speed a little faster. I don't think the asteroids come until the next part. I the mouse actually is not as jerky. Don't look like I have much in the way of missiles. Nope, don't want to mess with that. Alright, but I am not a mouse guy for this. I am a keyboard guy for this. So let's go on an autopilot to our first place. See what we got. They're attacking us, sir. What? Breaking attack. Oh, you're faster than me. I don't turn. No, the controls are definitely better. Oh, you lost all your shields and the front of your ship's messed up. Yeah, come at me, dude. Come at me. Oh, don't, don't come at her. Come at me. All right, I just ran into you. That's one way to do it. Take out this loser. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Let's take out the loser that's coming after me. Ha, ah, I hit him once. Okay, coming after you. Oh, you're not right. I should have locked. Don't think that's him. All right, well, you guys get the idea. I'm probably going to cut out this. Oh, she's hurting. I'm probably going to cut out some of this fighter stuff. And there we go. So I cut out a bit there. Now we're back in my old favorite part of the asteroid field. The part I hate the most. So you want to go slow through these, because if you go fast, you're going to die. Look at this. I am in trouble here. If I can destroy this one. Ooh, i got to go down. Yes, I destroyed that one, though. These asteroids can ruin your day. Like, one good shot from an asteroid will kill you, and they have a tendency to come out of the top or bottom of the screen pretty fast. But for the most part, I think they improved it from the first one, where that doesn't happen as often. Ooh, I better move. Now, there is one pretty huge flaw in this game and I'll explain it when we get to the next fighting part so oh cool objective reach let's get out of here now I just gotta get out of the asteroid place let's see if I can destroy that one that'd be nice apparently not jeez man look at this any oh gosh look at this any one of these could destroy me any one of them. Look at that one coming down from the top. Alright, let's hope that we're free. Let's get out of here. They'll start clearing up a little bit. Oh, they already started clearing up. Okay, good. Go, oh, not that much faster yet. Let's go get that one not hit me. We've got to be getting close to the edge of this stupid asteroid field. Yep, autopilot should come back any minute. I've never had a wingman killed in the asteroid field. I've been killed in the asteroid field a bunch. Now there's autopilot. Oh, she is hurting. 
And let me guess, this is not going to be an empty patrol spot, is it? It is not. All right, let's tell her to break and attack. If I don't do that, then she's just going to stay on my wing the whole time and... Ooh, giraffe. Well, get out of my way and I'll help you. Oops, we gotta go. No, I don't want to go any faster. What in the world? Why can't I lock? Can't shoot a missile. Ooh, yeah, turn it, me, turn it, me. Now, the huge flaw in this is. I think I might have slowed it down too much. That. Ooh, this looks good. This looks real good. Ah, we somehow got away with it. Let's speed this up a little bit. The big flaw in this is you can't move and ooh, he's got he's that's alright, he's dead. You can't move and fire at the same time. So you may be sitting here, okay, that guy's attacking her. I'm gonna let him deal with her while I tell attack this guy. Yeah, take that. I could have sworn I hit him in the back, but whatever. Alright, this is... Oh, man, look at that. Perfect. Yeah. Man, these things blow way easier than I remember. But, did I tell you the big flaw? I don't remember. I'll have to tell you when I watch this. If I didn't, the big flaw is you can't move and shoot at the same time. And that is a... Why is this guy running away? Forget you, dude. Let's move. I'm in a ferret. You're not out running a ferret. So, when I'm turning, I have to turn, line up my shot, stop turning, and fire. Which would be very nice if I didn't have to do that. Come on, man, turn back at me. Come on, you're about to. Ah, you stopped and changed. Because, yeah, if I could actually fire and move at the same time, life would be much better. All right. So let me finish off, I'm going to finish off this last guy real quick and I'll see it landing. Alright, so it did take me a while. But I did kill that last one. Spear got hurt pretty bad. Um, You're afraid to land. So she took off, but I finished that last guy. Very annoying. Pretty sure all I got to do is fly towards this thing and it'll land it for me. I don't think I even have to worry about angle. Looks like I'm alright. So I decided to just fast forward this part because it was kind of slow and boring. All they did was debrief you. You told them they were Kilrathi in the system. They were like, what? Kilrathi in the system? And you landed. That was it. Back to the video. Thanks. And thanks for the thumb up with your strangely clawed thumb. So that was a look at Wing Commander 2. The controls are tighter. I do like the game. The only thing I would say is that really is almost a deal breaker is not being able to shoot and move your ship at the same time. Although it looked like if I moved my ship with the arrow or the mouse, then I could fire. But the mouse is real kind of loose, so I didn't really like that. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I don't really need to do my play your character thing because this isn't a D&D &D video. So I'm going to have to come up with a new one. Great.